Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 13 and compare it against the iPhone 11 Pro Max and see which particular iPhone is a better one for you. Should you go and buy the newer, like, mid-tier kind of phone, or should you go and buy the older flagship from 2019? We'll talk about that throughout this whole entire video. If you want to pick up these phones or some other phones, I would recommend buying this here at any point during this video. Links will be down in the description. You can get that from there, and you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these phones, a big thing to keep in mind is that the iPhone 13 is significantly bigger than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The iPhone 13 is significantly smaller than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So if you are wanting the phone that's going to feel better in your hand, you might feel like you're going to be getting a little bit better of an experience on the iPhone 13, or at least a more comfortable phone to hold on the iPhone 13. But the iPhone 11 Pro Max did come out back in 2019, and this phone on the front side had a massive 6.5 inch Super Retina XR OLED display. It was a very big panel, and it was a very good panel at that as well. And I will tell you, if you were going to go ahead and buy a phone back in the day, this thing still holds up fairly well for the most part. It doesn't get the brightest, you know, 1200 it's a brightness, but the 11 Pro Max Max and 13 I think hold up the same in that you know regard. I still think this is a very good panel, fairly high resolution, and you're not really going to feel like you're missing out on too much with this type of panel considering there's not really too much that the 11 Pro Max didn't have that the iPhone 13 does have. Like both these phones have like 60 hertz panels and they're both very good screens and I definitely do, I would probably tell you if you're looking at both these devices, they're both very good, there's not too many things to hate on here. I probably will tell you though with a phone like the iPhone 11 Pro Max, it is a way bigger phone than the iPhone 13, which on the front is giving you a 6.1 inch Super Retina XR OLED display. So I will tell you, I think the technology of the iPhone 13's panel might be better, might be bigger, and it kind of gives me that impression that that is kind of a nicer, better phone than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I don't know if it's like the screen technology that changed or something like that, but I think but I do think whichever phone you're going to be getting, you're probably going to be getting very similar types of experiences for the most part. Like it's not really going to feel like on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, you're going to be getting like a crazier, better experience because both these phones are going to be giving you 60 hertz panels. If one had a 120 hertz panel, completely different story. But because both are giving you, you know, 60 hertz panels, you're really not going to be missing out on too much here from that particular perspective. So keep that in mind, but from that particular perspective, that kind of covers it up here for the most part. Now on the bottom, you're getting lightning ports on both, which is amazing, and I love having lightning. You're also getting these, you're getting these curved sides on the sides of both these phones, which is really cool. So I love having these curved sides, it's a really cool thing to have, but with the curved sides on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, it feels nice, you know, I like it. But the iPhone 13 is actually going to be giving you a little bit of a different experience with the flat sides. The flat sides are going to be way more modern of a device to kind of have, and that is kind of one big thing to keep in mind, is that if you're wanting the more modern feeling phone, well the iPhone 13 is probably going to be the one for you, considering a lot of phones don't really have, you know, curved sides anymore, most of them are bringing flat sides for the most part. On the back, you're getting a frosted glass back on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which I love a lot more than the standard glass back on the iPhone 13. So between both of yet again, you're going to be getting a little bit of a different experience when it comes down to both these as well. With the iPhone 13, having that standard glass back is really great. The 11 Pro Max, having that frosted glass back is better in my opinion. Triple camera setup on the 11 Pro Max, dual camera setup on the iPhone 13. Wireless charging on both, the iPhone 13 is giving you that maxi capability, which is very nice to have. And I'll probably tell you when it comes down to this whole entire thing, both these phones are really good, right? I like both these phones a lot from the exterior, but I would probably tell you that in most ways, the iPhone 13 is a little bit more like a modern feeling phone in some ways. I think the iPhone 11 Pro Max is one of those phones that has really good attributes like the triple camera setup and the frosted glass back in a bigger phone. But I think the iPhone 13 is probably the one that might be better for the average person out there in terms of the way it looks and feels on the outside. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. Now in terms of the camera setup, the iPhone 11 Pro Max is giving you a little bit of a different experience because it is giving you a triple camera setup is giving you a wide ultra wide telephoto lens where the iphone 13 is giving you only a wide and ultra wide camera so you're not getting that telephoto lens on the iphone 13 but the big thing to keep in mind here in my personal opinion is that if you're looking at both these phones the technology of the iphone 13's camera like the way the camera quality looks is significantly better than the iphone 11 pro max and if i was going to go through and pick up a phone i definitely will tell you that the iphone 11 pro max camera it probably isn't as good as the iPhone 13's. I feel like the iPhone 13 has a very good camera inside of it. It's very solid. And that is one of those types of cameras that I look at and I'm like very, very excited and happy to kind of use. I think those types of devices are very solid. And, you know, I think if I'm going to pick up a camera, it's going to be the iPhone 13. Both can give you 4K 60 on the front and the back. But the other big thing to keep in mind here is that with both these phones, at least with the iPhone 13, you're getting cinematic mode, which is really cool. 
That's basically like portrait mode for video. And that is without a doubt a very cool feature to basically have. The iPhone 11 Pro Max unfortunately does not have this type of capability. So you can get 4K at 60 on the front and the back, but there is no cinematic mode. There might be some ways to have, you know, and download some applications that can kind of like, you know, replicate it a little bit. But for the most part, you're not really going to be getting that type of capability. And that's just kind of what ends up happening with these types of devices. So from that side, again, that kind of covers it up there for the most part. In terms of software, both these phones are still supported with software right now, and they're both going to be getting iOS 18. So for the next year, both these phones are still going to be supported. There's not really going to be too many issues or problems you're going to be running into from that particular side. But the big thing I'd probably tell you for the average person, once again, is that the iPhone 13 is going to be giving you the overall better experience in terms of the long run than something like the iPhone, you know, than something like the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I would probably tell you the 11 Pro Max has like maybe like another year or two of software. So maybe it'll get iOS 19. If we're lucky, it'll get iOS 20. But I wouldn't run I wouldn't like go into that, you know, statement saying it. I wouldn't trust that. I would 100% say that for the most part, the iPhone 11 Pro Max is probably going to be the device that's not going to last that long. It probably will have like another, like I said, another year or two. But even if that, it's going to be kind of a stretch. I would say that with the iPhone 13, you're definitely going to be getting the longer lasting phone. And that would be kind of one of the bigger advantages of buying the iPhone 13. And that would probably say if you're going to go pick up one of these devices, it could honestly make some sense to go ahead and just buy something like the iPhone 11 or the it might make more sense to buy something like the iPhone 13 and kind of have a device that's going to last you a longer period of time from that side as well. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. From the performance side, this is also another slight difference. So with the iPhone 11 Pro Max, you're getting the Apple A13 body chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM. With the iPhone 13, you're getting that Apple A15 body chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM as well. Now, when it comes down to the performance side, I will tell you, both these phones, once again, are good. You know, they're good performing devices, but the iPhone 11 Pro Max is significantly older, so you are going to feel like this phone isn't really as good as something like the iPhone 13. So I feel like the iPhone 13 is probably going to be giving you the overall better experience. This games are going to be loading up faster, applications are going to be faster, and almost every single thing you can probably imagine, the iPhone 13 is going to be giving you the overall better experience in almost every single way. But I still think there's a lot of reasons why the iPhone 11 Pro Max is still kind of good. Like for some people out there, having a bigger phone might be the you know deal breaker. And by getting an iPhone 11 Pro Max, well, for media consumption and stuff, it is nicer to have a bigger display. But once again, I would probably just say getting an iPhone 13, once again, is the better decision here because it is a, just a better performing device in almost every single way again. So the way I can kind of sum up this video, I definitely will tell you for, you know, almost every single person out there, buying the iPhone 13 is probably the better way to go. It's a little bit more of an expensive phone in some ways, but in some ways it's not even. I think the iPhone 11 Pro Max is a good phone, don't get me wrong, but the iPhone 13, without a doubt, is the better one here. And I'd probably recommend the average person to go ahead and buy a phone like that rather than buying something like the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there too. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soldier.